Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Straight Talk Vermont show. Before I talk to our incredible guest, <laughs> Eric, um, we're going to talk and give you a little update. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Art So Wonderful um, Gallery and Performing Center is part of everything we do. It's part of um, Straight Talk Vermont and you know, Art So Wonderful, Vermont Local Art Music, um, uh, United Colors Club. We do a lot of, have a lot of programs with what we do for for many years. Like United College Club has been around since 1999. Vermont Local Art of Music has been around since 2003. So we, um, so we, and um, Art So Wonderful has been around since 2003. And you pr probably know Art So Wonderful because you see all these incredible murals everywhere. 60% of the murals are Art So Wonderful in Burlington. And we do them around the state as well. Um, we created in 2010 Art So Wonderful in lecture boxes. So you see all these cool lecture boxes everywhere. Some of our partners do a lot of them. We, we created it in 2010. We're all the ones in Burlington and a lot of other places in um, Taylor Park and St. Albans and Rutland. So what we try to do with the art piece is give artists an opportunity to showcase their art in public spaces um, you know, where they normally don't, can't. You know, not many people can like, say they didn't like an electrical box downtown Burlington or a mural in Burlington or anywhere around the state, you know, it's kind of hard to, for some people to get to do murals. For us, all you got to do is contact artsowonderful.com and say you want to help out on a mural. Guess what? You'd probably be helping us out on a mural like ne that same week. <laughs> but that's how we operate. We want to make sure that people get involved immediately. Nice. And we and they like to reflect that. And the thing about it too, we supply all the brushes and paint and everything you know so our new art gallery um art so wonderful gallery and performing center is located in the university mall which all our all our all of, all of our um galleries are there but we have one in the Burlington Mall at one time this one is a new space it's right next to target across from ihop it's eight thousand square feet it used to be where um south burlington library is we come in there boy you see this incredible art like, oh man, when I sit there, I just love the art that's in there. I'm not an artist or a musician, but I love, I love it. So we're open Wednesday through Saturday from 11 to 5. So come in, I'm Bruce Wilson, and um, you know, it's my place, I run it, I run it along with my art, my director and curator, Alondra de la Cuesta, and our technology director and social media, Teddy, you know, Michael Gaffney, a.k.a. Teddy, you know, he, he's the man. He's, he's a, he holds down so much. And all our muralists, our lead muralists, Jamie and Elizabeth and Maple, you know, they do the community murals, and they are so incredible. And I love, I love what they do. So today, we got <laughs> Eric Hoffman from Vermont Housing Finance Agency. And, um, and he's a manager of business and development for the home ownership. And so he's gonna to talk to us about how we can get involved with the uh, agency, how we can maybe get some loans, what we qualify for, what steps that we need to take. So Eric, thank you for coming on the show yes. first, sir. Thank you, it's Bruce. It's a pleasure to see you all the time. Yeah, Bruce. And, uh, and, and it's always great to work with you. you know, we've done some things in, last year or at the uh, National Night Out in um, Essays and our goal is to get a hit around everywhere that you guys serve and help you kind of, um, uh, people can understand about the work, that what you do, as well as how they can get involved. Because a lot of people don't know about this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know about, as um, long as you guys have been around, Vermont Housing Finance Agency has been around for, since 1974. Correct. That's a long time, yeah. bro. Wow. Yeah. So, f so first of all, Go thank ahead. you for having me sure. uh, today. And thank you for all of the art and spirit that you bring to the community. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, my name is Eric Hoffman from VHFA, um, and uh, I work in our home ownership department. And so what I do is I talk to banks and credit unions and home buyers and realtors and anybody else who will listen to help explain how to buy a home and what special programs are out there, especially VHFA, Vermont Housing Finance Agency, but there's other special programs that are out there uh, that can help home buyers. Um, so, basically, 
um, I'm here today to give the information mm -hmm. I can, mm -hmm. uh, answer any questions that Bruce has mm -hmm. um, to help explain the home buying process, well, but also to explain the special programs that we have. No doubt about it. And so, um, well, let's talk about for a minute. You guys have been around since 1974. Yep. Wow. And I can't remember about 89, but, um, and I, you know, it took me a long time to, and I'm still learning from you. Thank God I, we have you to teach us. But um, <laughs> Thank you. what you guys actually do. So yeah, what is sure. the mission goals and objectives? of um, Vermont Housing Finance right. Agency, so, excuse me. For yeah, it's okay. VHFA, Vermont Housing Finance Agency, has been around since 1974 and basically has two lines of business. I, ho I hope I'm describing this correctly, but we do development and we also have mortgage programs or programs that help home buyers to buy their home that you get by going to a local bank or credit union or mortgage company. So we basically take money from uh, state and federal mm -hmm. sources and funnel them into the state of Vermont mm -hmm. to build affordable housing mm -hmm. and offer special financing programs for people who are looking to buy. And so we've helped generations of Vermonters to uh, buy their first home. You can run, you'll run into people on the street and say, oh yeah, I remember I bought my first home using VHFA back in you know the 90s or something like mm -hmm. that. So that's a, a continuation of that. And we're a housing finance agency and we're one of there's one in every state, basically. So we're the, oh, the, okay. the, the state, the, the housing finance agency version mm -hmm. for Vermont. There's one in New, New Hampshire and there's one, you know, in California. So, and okay. they, they kind of fill the same function. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you serve the whole state of Vermont. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, small towns, name a real small town. That probably like, I find it. Put Mayberry, on, no, yeah. no, that'd be very Put me Vermont. on the spot so, here. No, I don't um, know. Well, you know I'm, uh, just, I'm just saying, because I'm yeah. just curious that, who might have used the service, you know mm, what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you don't have to, you know I mean? You, you know, you might not can think of it. I mean, you know, the but, one um, that comes to mind is Pittsfield. I don't know how oh, big or small it is necessarily, but um, mm. uh, we yes, we are statewide. And mm. the good news about Vermont is that we're small enough that I can, uh, we can handle it. Mm. We can handle, we, we do loans all across the state mm. of Vermont and it really works uh, in rural areas, but also here where we're located in Chittenden County as wow. well. Wow, so that's so that that's why it's called Vermont Housing yeah, Correct. Agency. Yes. Wow. So um, oh oh wow. So so there's no um, there's no other agencies like you. You you are the agency for the state of Vermont. Well, I mean, it's a good question. So like we we're part of the affordable housing landscape. Mm -hmm. So there is there's different organizations that have slightly different functions, and we all kind of work together. We've got like the housing authorities, you know, Burlington Housing Authority, Vermont State Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. Housing Vermont, we've got Champlain Housing Trust and the mm -hmm. other home ownership centers. So there's a whole network mm -hmm. of nonprofits and government agencies that are that work together to do their best to mm -hmm. um, make make ho make home more affordable. Mm -hmm. All along what we call the housing spectrum. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about housing programs, we want you know to look at housing programs to help homelessness mm -hmm. and to oh, also yeah. help people you know who are mm -hmm. looking to rent and then. Mm -hmm people who are looking to buy their own home, mm -hmm. people who are looking to stay in their home and to avoid foreclosure mm -hmm. and be able to repair. So there's this whole spectrum mm -hmm. of things that funds mm -hmm. go into sure. at different places mm -hmm. to um, just basically make home more affordable and more safe and decent. Man, that's incredible. So, when, so Eric, when you say homelessness, mm -hmm. because man, yeah. there's a lot of homeless people yeah. across the country, but, but you know, you wouldn't believe how many homeless people, well, you, I mean, you know, I'm saying in general, you yeah. wouldn't believe sure. how many homeless oh, people yeah. that are just right here in, in, mm. in Vermont, mm. mm -hmm. right here in the Chittenden County, in Burlington, you know, and, um, mm -hmm. and so how, so how you say you, you work with homelessness. So I, so I guess I'm trying to figure out, yeah, yeah. How, you know, what do you do? How do you do that? Well, what do I, I don't, I don't work, um, with, well, you know, what I mean, I mean, yeah, like yeah. the you programs mean, that VHFA? you can offer. Yeah. I mean, as far as VHFA does, it's hard for me to describe mm -hmm. how we're working directly mm -hmm. um, on that problem. Mm -hmm. But there's, um, she's, I mean, to be honest, you know, I, I, my work is focused on people that are at a different place in the spectrum. There are, there are services out there that like uh, the transitional housing and the shelters and the temporary cots is another one, Champlain okay. Housing. Um, oh, got you, yeah. You know, so you, yeah. you see what I mean? Like different yeah. agencies will okay. fill different functions. Yes, I and, got and I mean, we have seen, it's, we have seen people go f uh, from the beginning of that spectrum all the, all the way to the mm -hmm. other end and get home and become a homeowner, mm -hmm. you know, after being homeless. Um, there are programs out there that um, you can actually, 
if you have a Section 8 rental voucher, you can turn that into um, help for with a mortgage payment. Oh, really? It's not an easy process, but mm. it is something that's out there. So there's just a whole landscape of, of programs that mm. are out there to help people. Um, I will say that it can be tricky to navigate. So mm -hmm. finding a trusted source where you can get some of that information um, is probably one of the first steps. We can get into that more yeah. if you want to. Yeah, well, I do. But I, I, I'm curious about um, um, the one of the things you just said is about yeah. um, you know, it's, you know, it's a tricky process. If you yeah. have a Section 8 voucher, yeah. I mean, I mean, I know tricky means like you got a lot of stuff you got to go through, a lot of paperwork, and it's probably federal proposal, grants, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But you help with the mortgage. You know, like you said, this renting, it help you with a mortgage to buy. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm thinking, I'm curious, is that um, do you help? Can they build can, to build some too? Like, oh, you just have to rent from me. You know, theory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, rent for me, mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, you know, his, you, you paying it's a mortgage. Now you can buy this place. I don't know how it works, mm -hmm. but um, can you can they build a place too? Like what? Uh, I mean, it's possible to get a know, construction with a section loan through a sec through section eight. eight loan. I, yes, I think you could. Ah. In theory, you mm -hmm. could. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to be honest, my view of the market right now is mm -hmm. that building construction materials and the cost of land is so high mm -hmm. and you have to have a lot of cash up front mm -hmm. and so it would just be and i'm not making an assumption maybe somebody with a section 8 voucher is in a position that has savings and things like that i'm just being realistic mm -hmm. that uh it i, I don't want to be like you have a section 8 voucher you can turn it into a yeah, new no, home I, right well, it's not I, a guarantee not right but it much. is sure. it is possible yeah what i will say is that for a first-time home buyer what i always say to a first-time home buyer is Maybe, you know, sometimes there's an idea about you know, constructing your own home, right? I just want to get a little piece of land and put a little house on it. Well, that right. can often be the m most um, difficult thing to do. It's an it's a, it's a easier thing to do to uh, go for a house that's already built, right? Yeah, and and the first step in the process is uh, to talk with a local bank or credit union or mm. mortgage company and just mm. understand where you are like yeah, do you qualify yeah. for a loan mm -hmm. and um, if even if you don't it still gives you a, a sense of what the roadmap is mm -hmm. so that's what I always mm -hmm. tell home buyers. Yeah. okay so gosh so um, you know how do you know how do you how do you you know like you know how do you qualify for mm -hmm. a loan I mean what's the qualification do you you need like a like seven, uh, eight, 800 credit score 750 or can, you know what it what do you need to qualify for a loan and sure. i mean what if you have a low credit score that's what i mean mm -hmm. yeah that's what i mean yeah because you have a high score score, you, you qualify for a loan pretty mm -hmm. much yeah. if you're in economics but what do you what do you need to qualify for a loan with low or a low credit score and low economics like you yep. know like yep where, you understand what i'm saying yeah okay. totally so mm -hmm. like when when you go to see uh when you talk to a bank or a credit union or a mortgage company sit down with the person face to face mm -hmm. and um, ask them, you know, what does it take? Wh what do I need to do? What do I need to show in order to get a loan? And basically mm -hmm. they'll look at four things. They'll look at your finances and I call it your financial well-being, mm -hmm. right? Your financial situation. They look at your credit, but not just your credit. They also look at how much money do you make? Mm -hmm. How much money do you make per month really is mm -hmm. what they're really focused on. And then what are your minimum monthly debt payments? Like, what do you have, like, do you have credit cards or auto loans or personal loans or student loans? Like, how much of your monthly income is taken up by the other debt that you have? So the more monthly income you can show, the more you make, and the less debt that you have, right, the more, more of a mortgage you'll be able to afford. And finally, they look at savings. And you do need mm -hmm. some savings because mm -hmm. it costs some money, it costs money to buy a home up front. And that's usually in the form of a down payment or and also in the form of what's called closing costs mm -hmm. and so it's really those four things that they're looking at when it comes to credit there's mm -hmm. all different kinds of programs mm -hmm. um, that have different um, minimum credit or minimum credit scores that they'll accept mm -hmm. but credit scores can go down as far as the low 600s and maybe even lower in some cases there's an fha loan out there where mm -hmm. you could have a lower credit score and still be able to oh, qualify that's nice. so low 600s i don't know i haven't heard much below that for VHFA, it's no more, no less than a 640, okay. and in some cases a 680. Mm -hmm. Really, what you want to do um, to put yourself into a position where you're going to be able to have your pick is a 700 or so. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but there's ways. You know, credit can always be rebuilt too. So mm -hmm. even if you talk to a lender and like, uh oh, I see a problem on your, you got a collection or something like that, right? right? 
they will give you a roadmap to say, if you do these things, come back in six months and we'll take another look at your credit score and see if you qualify. So mm -hmm. it's all about understanding the process and knowing where to start mm -hmm. um, and having that initial conversation with a lender. I'm not trying to push people to a lender mm -hmm. um, before they're ready, but it can be a really good way for them just to understand where they start. There's no pressure to it. Um, and there's other and there's other programs out there that could help too. Other okay. places they could um, go. And you yeah. know, um, you're very knowledgeable. I know you've only been um, working with this agency for like a couple of years now, right? I've been there for four years. Four years. And sorry. That's okay. Yeah. And before that, I was working with Champlain Housing yeah. Trust. So I um, uh, was a home buyer education counselor. So I met with, or I was a home education counselor. So mm -hmm. going, getting back to um, that housing spectrum, I worked with people who were, you know, coming out of homelessness, trying to get into an apartment, coming out of renting, trying to get into a home facing foreclosure. So I saw it all along the spectrum there. Um, and you know what really what I realized was, man, we all we all want the same thing, right? We just want a home that we can we can love and appreciate. Right. And we're all everybody that I was meeting was in transition. Mm -hmm. And that just really made me and it really made me very sensitive to how important stability in the home is. Mm -hmm. And so it's not to and to me, when I talk about housing stability or if you're if you're stably housed it's not about like you wouldn't want to get into renting an apartment or into getting a mortgage for a home where you're so you don't have any money left over to and you know to for to pay for the things that you need and then you find yourself not being able to pay your mortgage because that can be so disruptive so what i what i say is is it's really best to be both you know you tr find a house that 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 you that is sa safe and that you you know it, it, how it's you can appreciate it, but also you know making sure that it's something that you can afford. If you don't, if both of those things are really important mm -hmm. for that overall stability. Mm -hmm. Wow. So so that's that's good. So um so what kind of um you have programs? You have some yeah. programs, some grants, or what are, what do you what are you offering yeah, to so individuals? Who so getting back to kind of what lenders look at, they look at credit and income, and uh, what did I say? Uh, debt and uh, savings. So when you buy a home, there's usually upfront costs that you have to pay. And um, those can be in the thousands of dollars. So one of the main programs that VHFA offers is something called down payment assistance. Oh, wow. it's, call, it's, it's called Big VHFA deal. assist. Mm -hmm. And it can be up to ten to $15,000 mm -hmm. in cash assistance to, be, to pay for those upfront costs. So you don't have to pay for that out of pocket and it can be, make the difference if you're somebody who doesn't have um, money in savings but has good income and has um, you know, credit score where it needs to be. This can get you over the hump. Now, um, you have <coughs> programs for like um, um, people of color. Do um, you have any, um, you know, is anything special about a person who looks like me? Good question. Um, so we don't have any financing that is specifically set aside mm -hmm. for people of color, BIPOC. Mm -hmm. However, I don't know if you're aware, Champlain Housing Trust does. Mm -hmm. They have a special uh, grant program. I'm not sure, I think it's up to $25,000. And if a person in the household identifies as black, mm -hmm. indigenous, or person of color, then they could get this, they could qualify for this mm -hmm. grant and buy a home through Champlain Housing Trust. And so I, I want to encourage people to, uh, I'd say, go to a lender and see sort of where, where mm -hmm. you stand as the first step in the home buying process. If you're not ready to meet with a lender, um, or in addition to meeting with a lender, mm -hmm. I would say talk to a local home ownership mm -hmm. center, um, and you can find that mm -hmm. online, but the one in Chittenden County here is Champlain Housing mm -hmm. Trust, and they have counselors, ha home buyer counselors on staff, they have education, and they have lots of different programs, um, especially one called the Shared Equity Program mm -hmm. that you can that can help you to um, buy a house at, at a, a, a cheaper price than what you would find if you were just out on the open market yourself. Um, there are some, when it, talking about fi finances, um, the reason that we don't offer a program specifically for uh, people of color is that um, it's legal. It's a legal issue. Um, there, we're still trying to figure out if, um, if it would run afoul of fair housing um, or if it would run afoul of the equal protection clause in the Constitution um, as sort of reverse discrimination. Mm -hmm. So. You, I told you earlier about how um, we there's HFAs in all different states, mm -hmm. and um, so we're all t taking a look at that question to mm -hmm. see if we could use something called the Special Purpose Credit Program, like Champlain Housing Trust mm -hmm. is using. So that's on that's on, it's in the works. 
Okay. Um, but as far as like outreach and things like mm -hmm. that, we're, we're doing our best to um, reach diverse audiences and mm -hmm. to um, offer education um, to help because a big part of um, buying a home, mm -hmm. it's you know certainly having the money, but also having the, the know-how, right? right? And it's how, how do you become an informed, how do you put yourself in a place where you can make informed decisions, right? How do you, um, I always tell people what I'm trying to do whenever I do a home buyer event is I want you to be a more informed buyer and a more competitive mm -hmm. buyer. So that education piece is a big piece of that and that's something that we um, are, are always looking to do mm -hmm. is to partner with um, uh, organizations and individuals to um, reach new and diverse audiences. So I think right right now is the time for you. You know, we can you can talk about um, how people can get in touch with you. Okay. And how can they? Yeah. Um, so my name is Eric Hoffman again, <laughs> and uh, you could go to vhfa.org, mm -hmm. and um, you can either submit um, a question by email through there, or you can give us a call, and um, we'd be happy to. Uh, explain um, you know, so where the, some of the first steps and just get you pointed in the right direction um, mm -hmm. based on where, where you stand in the home buying process. Awesome. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's like I said, you know, I've, yeah. I've been there since 1989. It took me, it was years before I knew exactly what you did, you know, what you mm -hmm. do, you know, okay. and, um, and I know there's a lot of people out there who don't know, mm -hmm. who okay. don't know. The, well, they know they, a lot of them know it today because they mm -hmm. listen to our show. But um, so how we so how are we gonna move on the state and, and um, get the word out? Because I'm will you know I'm gonna help you. Yeah. I'm willing to help you. and I'm gonna help you do it. Okay. You know so um, how are we gonna do it? Okay. Well, how, well, what's our what's our first place we're going to Mayberry or Vermont? No. I should ask I should ask you this question. Mm -hmm. I should I should be asking more questions. Go right ahead. You I, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Ask me the well, question. but I have an idea. So um, I have an idea too. But I, this is something that I'm I'm still working on. And we we have um, we start we're establishing relationships mm -hmm. with like NAACP mm -hmm. and and um, Root the Root mm -hmm. um, down in um, in Windsor and uh, Brattleboro. Um, they are actually not something that we're involved with, but they're actually um, doing a BIPOC affinity uh, group and space for to bring together a group of people who are people of color who want are interested in buying a home, and they're um, uh, having holding like a group session over several se you know over sure. several months to help people to try kind of troubleshoot together. So it's that mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. that that kind of thinking like mm -hmm. hey how can we create spaces where people can bounce ideas off of each other and also get the word out. But one, one quick solution is to, to, un, to that we offer already is um, the home buyer webinar. And I do that once a month. And it's something that I do live. And so anybody can register for it and attend. And you can register on our website for that. And then I generally will record that um, and have it on our website so that you could just look um, through YouTube you can just download that and listen to it while you're doing something else, and it really gives you a, mm -hmm. a good ber a good perspective on the steps involved in buying a home. Mm -hmm. um, so I would encourage anybody if you're interested in understanding mm -hmm. the process, because it's a it's a, it can be a daunting process, right? No doubt. Um, from start to finish, is to go to our website mm -hmm. and maybe take a take a listen to that video. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so that's all good, good stuff. Um, but I know for, you know, I'll, I sit on one of the boards and commissions around yeah. the state. And I know for a fact is that, um, like, if you're going to, um, if you you look, go to the um, police departments and around your web, to find, what, on their website, well, what you want to find out is where you pay your parking ticket. I mean, mm. You know, okay. um, you don't go mm -hmm. and find out, you know, um, so a lot of things, you know, why why people go on people's website, like, kind of like yours, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. is because for you know, maybe they're going for housing reasons because mm -hmm. they heard about you. But not many people are just, just going to check that website mm, just okay. on randomly or just, oh, let me go home and get on this yeah. website. Yeah, and spend all this no, time. They yeah. just might yeah. if they get the information like, like um, I don't know what was that, what year was that, the um, National Night on Essence, you know, people mm -hmm. were coming to the mm -hmm. tent, you were mm -hmm. talking to them, yep. you know, and they were just giving them information, they're more boots on the ground, right? Okay. So so they come to you because yeah. they want to know the information. Yeah. And you give them the information, so they probably go home and look at it sure. through your website and all this stuff. But the, the situation is, um, like I said, on the Chittagong Regional Planning, you know, a lot of people look at the um, um, 
the west side and a lot of people don't even know what we do we have 19 right. municipalities you know mm -hmm. and um um, you know, just like me, I'll sit on, um, I'm not talking about me, but I'm just talking about the, our websites because I know, that's, I'm talking about what I know. And mm -hmm. we, uh, Human Rights Commission, I'm a commissioner for the state of Vermont. Okay. And not many people look on, a, you know, right. I, you got some issues, you know, situations, you might look at the Human Rights mm -hmm. Commission. Um, um, mm -hmm. the, in the law firms or, you know, agencies, mm -hmm. um, law agencies might say, well, you know what, you got a case sound like Human Rights Commission can help you. And so they'll go check, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But mm -hmm. f first, that's what, we're going to start bouncing around everywhere is to educate people about what we do too because they should know so the thing is that and the only way we're going to do that is going to be boots on the ground mm -hmm. we have to go right where they are mm -hmm. right okay. we talked about this mm -hmm. before right mm -hmm. and so that's the thing i think that everything will raise up i mean if you go you get five people out of each you know city yeah. that's how it's a lot right right that's a lot yeah and one person. What I what I try to do is I do one in person home buyer event somewhere around the state mm -hmm. and one webinar mm -hmm. per month. Yeah. And That's I think cool. I think the space are so wonderful That's would be right. I want to do that. Yeah. It's well, you know, we definitely we can well the good thing about our space, I you know, I, we I wanna host every every event you wanna do there, you know, every one. You know, it's a good place. It's right by the highway, mm -hmm. the ample free ample parking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to go to Target or some JC Penny or Code while you're there, mm -hmm. or you know they might want to just look, think about buying some art, whatever. Yeah. But it's a great space, and I and I got that space just for you see it's got a stage, yeah, big stage. You got all these chairs people can sit. We have a restorative justice type circle of chairs like where we have our community talks and. Um, and so that we've been you yeah. doing community talks in that little circle. You might you saw that stuff. I mean, a big so he, you know, getting back to reaching diverse audiences. A big part of it is holding events like this in the right kinds of spaces. Mm -hmm. Like less about and 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 I'm you know guilty of this. Less about in breweries and mm -hmm. other potentially more white spaces. Mm -hmm. Let's go to other community spaces, right? right. I, am, I, am I on the right track? Now you're on the that? right track, yeah. and so. Like, you know, we talked about this many times in meetings that we held about this, and you know, I didn't have the space. I had I had an art gallery in the mall, but it wasn't that type of yeah. 8,000 square feet. Yeah, it's great. But um, now we can do, like, you know, incredible, you know, you know, you know, have a little snacks and food. You know, and we yeah. have sponsor, yeah. food sponsors. Right, right. Uh, you know, we can get some food, and people can come in, and and then um, just can come in. And like you said, we can have uh, some providers there, like some um, loan. Um, we can have a realtor. Yeah. I need to. I just need to say this, and that is that you were talking about the the Human Rights Commission. Yeah, I'm a commissioner for that. And yeah, you don't for the state. you don't see them going directly to the the people. They're more like B to B, business to business. Mm -hmm, right. In exactly. In a sense, VHFA is that too. Yeah. We offer all of our programs are offered through banks right. and credit unions and mortgage companies. Mm -hmm. So we, nobody comes to VHFA to apply. So mm -hmm. there is an aspect of the fact that we're in the background a little bit. Mm -hmm. When you go to a lender, they you might hear VHFA or you might not. You might get one of our programs right. and never know you. Never know if you did. Yeah. That being said, mm -hmm. we with the limited capacity mm -hmm. that we have, we do the home buyer outreach. Mm -hmm. But we also want to try to rely on our lenders. That's right. And our credit unions mm -hmm. and banks to, right. to to do that. Right. Um, so so yeah. so based on what you were saying to me, does that mean how you should be asking me the question? Um, no. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have no problem, you know, because we've done over 700 events, you know, in the state of Vermont. But anyways, um, what I like to do, you know, is like, you know, if we need um, a lender and a bank, what would you say, lender and in, in, in a, uh, a bank, credit union, mortgage. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, they can all have the, we can have them all there, but they can all have their turn to present. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we can have all those lenders and banks and credit unions or whatever, you know, whoever want to be there, who sh who should want to be there, you know, um, responsible banking, social responsible oh, yeah. banking. We They definitely want to be there around people who they serve. Yes. And so, but maybe and it's and not... We do, and, they, and there, we, we often do have, a, we always have a lender and a realtor there because it offers so much to the... It, it offers so much to somebody who is maybe intimidated mm -hmm. by the banking space mm -hmm. to say, oh, that's just a real person I can go talk to. Right, no doubt. Questions and they'll treat me with patience and fairness, right? Well, so, what, what yes. Of course, but like I'm, what I'm thinking yeah. is that in the same thing you're saying, and you always have them there. And it's, I'm saying like hey, one month, mm -hmm. this is about the real estate agencies. Mm -hmm. They're okay. presenting. We'll have all the credit union the bankers and you know um, your organization, your agency there. You know, but to right now, because they can go walk along and get the service. Okay. But right now, it's about the real estate. And they talking about real estate. They talking about what you need. They talking about demographics. They talking about you know. 
whatever the real estate um, yeah. agencies talk about. And that's their turn to talk. But we'll have everybody there in yeah. case, you know, maybe they can walk around and talk to everybody else too. At, but this would be a presentation. And then the next thing, the credit union, they up there, that's their turn. They're talking about it, but we'll have the real estate agent, everybody there. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's <clears throat> to get everybody their turn, you know, they yeah. really present there what they do. Yeah. And, um, and so I think that's the, that's the bang for the buck of like, for, for instance, like we work with the Greeks, you know, in society and uh, UVM through our United College Club program yeah. since, I don't know, since 1999 in the United College Club. And, um, and like, <laughs> when we work with the Greeks and like, um, we used to sponsor the Greek awards for them. And um, I'm telling you, I never see so many Greeks, um, sorority and fraternities, sharp as they be, 500, you know, college students, like all dressed up with the fancy gear for the awards. Seminar. And so we sponsored for a few years. And then they started like, we need to do this for you. So when we contact them, you know, say, can you please help us? Or the MOVE program at uh, St. Michael's, or um, <clears throat> what's the other one? One at the other um, um, community service program that um, at UVM. But anyways, when you get 300 college, we, the bang for the buck is they bring it, we try to educate them about whatever it is, you know, social, anything, we try to, whatever we try to educate them on. They come in there like 300, 300 people. And I don't care if they, and their job is to like recruit others to come. But we, we don't care if they bring not one person, but, but if you got 300 of them in the room, yeah. you know, that's all you need, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They, they, you know what I mean? You don't even need no other body else. So, so that's why I say the bang for the buck, you know. And so when the real estate agencies are there presenting, then they have all the housing and everybody, the credit unions. Yeah. Then the bang for the buck is everybody's coming who comes there for something, well, and everybody can who's there who's presenting can talk about what they do, and everybody can learn more. Let me ask you this: though. It's not just about the information about how to buy a home, the nuts and the bolts. Mm -hmm. There is something that is often not talked about in the home buying process is that it is a well, it it, it can be perceived as a white space, right? And Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not saying that strongly enough. It is a white space. Mm -hmm. So is there something else about the way that we're presenting the information that we should mm -hmm. consider? Well, I mean? well yeah, of course. But, you know, I'm always going to include because I, always, I sit on all these boards and commissions about anti-racism, diversity, equity, and inclusion, racial equity, inclusion, belonging. So I'm, I, yeah. that's, that's who I am, you know what I'm saying? And so um, the thing is, you got to remember, like, you know, they, they say it's the whitest state in America. Second white state in America. When I came in, it was the first white state. I still think it's the first, but it, when people say it's the second, what got was first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? It's still the damn same as the first. But um, yeah. so so it's so it's a little different to get uh, people BIPOC of individuals or you know in, into a, a room where the state is white, all white. You know what I'm saying? So it's really difficult. But the good thing about it, what well, good thing about me. I'm a person of color, so it's easy for me to get people who look like me into a room or, you know, because I work with them all, right. you know, yeah. so, so, um, yeah. it, the goal, the thing is that when you get oh, everybody in the room, like a melting pot, you know, all different yeah. colors, race, uh, cultural diversities, ethnicities, whatever, in a room. That's generally what I see when I do mm -hmm. the, the home buyer webinars, but That's but awesome. Go ahead. Are you saying? No, all I'm trying to say is you really learn a lot from each other. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not like a, just the white people talking. Right. You know, and this is how you should do a black person. You know, the black people talking. And this is how you should do a white person. You know what I mean? Okay. We're, it's everybody like making decisions, working together to come up with an answer that makes sense. And so I don't care what's. It's not like you're intimidated by mm. somebody else. Okay. No way. Yeah. You no know, way. You know because uh, you know you, if you, as you know a black person will come and say they're not intimidated by nothing. Right. They'll I, stand I, up I in the front of the room and say. That, that you know, it would, would be less intimidating mm. if it was all by pocket. Yeah. In, in terms no. Of you don't want that because you want, you know, like, you want um, individuals say, like, like the white person say, you know, in my neighborhood in Plainfield or right. where probably no black person is, you know, I mean, maybe it is, I don't know, you know, this is what we have to go through. And then people living in Winooski say, well, I live here and this is, this is, this is how we see things, this is our culture diversity, and this is, our, this is the things that we, so together they can come up with an okay. answer, yeah. to, you know what I mean, because they all, have different, it's not the same situation. Right. You know what I mean? Because I would say the people who African Americans got the, I don't care what level of education you got, or demographic, or economic, or, or where you live at, I live in Hyde Park in Chicago. And, you know, it's all, you know, from my still ancestors came from the same situation as most people who like me, you know. And so, um, and, you know, so for my point is that, um, um, that I'll probably come up with the same answers as everybody else who look like me. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so 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 we were talking about um, you know, um grants and, and um equity and uh, inclusion, but mostly we decided that we think that inclusion is um is the best way to look at what we want to do, you know. I mean, it includes everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't say, oh, you know, BIPOC or this person or that mm -hmm. person or POC, you know, you know, that's too much, you know, because mm -hmm. the scene it separates thick people, you know. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not, even, you know, I have been in Vermont since 1989 because I'm trying to be. I'm, I, I, I love everybody. My my folks taught me to love everyone, you know, what I mean, and be a part of the community and do community service. And that's what I do. I got yeah. thousands of hours of community service, and and I continue to do them. the best thing. The best I am is serving and helping people, you know. But um, so let's just. I, I like to use the word inclusion. I know you only can make a decision and get answers right if you include everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in the room, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care if, if it's zero point one percent of African Americans. You know what I mean? If you got four or five African Americans and among two uh, seventy five white people, so what? We, we, they can, believe me, those three people, like, can make a, a, a difference. I have a youth advisory board. Guess what? <laughs> you know, all I need is one, if I'm going to a meeting and none of the youth can go with me, mm -hmm. and when they, uh, it's a youth agenda item on it, um, and I would have to ask one of my youth, you know, I, be, I bet you I can know the answer because I work with them so many years, mm -hmm. but I have to ask one of my youth, I don't care what the color they are, yeah. you know, what, I, what do you think? I, I'm going to a meeting, you, nobody yeah. can go. Tell me what some things I should bring include up. Them. My, include them. What's yeah. my, what's my, you know, your topic of my topic of discussion? Yeah. What you know what I mean? Uh, you know my key points. You know what I mean? And they come back. You know when I'm sitting in yeah. that room with with these adults, and they and they be talking about they've been there, done that, and this, that, and the other. And I and I said, well, here it is. You know, this is what my youth, one of my youth, one of them said. You know what I mean? And I'm sticking by it. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking yeah, by good. it. Because when we're in our youth, when we're in our youth meetings. You know, we had kids from Waldorf and Vermont Common School and Winooski, all Chitty County High School. And they all are different, different, different demographics mm -hmm. and economics, you know. Yeah. But they all, they, they know what colors to wear. They know the music. They all know, you know, so you can grab any kid, any, well, not a kid, yeah. any youth, call a student and ask them the question that you need to ask. Yeah. One, call up yeah. your cousin. You know, what I mean, your, your I think, nephew. I think one of the mistakes I make sometimes is that I think I have answers, mm -hmm. or, and and it would be I, I need I, I I need to hear another perspective too. And and there's other you know D and the E I think are important too, yeah, especially definitely. equity. It, I if I can try to define it, it's like people are, are starting at different places, mm -hmm. and we have to recognize that people are starting at different mm -hmm. places when they mm -hmm. are working with a bank or a credit mm -hmm. union. And so flexing to that person's mm -hmm. needs, communication style right. too, right. is just as important mm -hmm. as having. Is, is important right. in addition to having good programs that help people at different income levels. Mm -hmm. um, and then diversity, too, is just, you know, the uh, showing the, right. you know, on your website. Now, see, what you know is what? your website That is like, great. You know? That's a great definition of diversity and, equ and equity. Mm -hmm. That's a great example and definition. That's where it's always been. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It don't mean that, it don't mean that, um, it, you know, you, you black people or people, you know, they don't mean mm -hmm. that. It mm -hmm. just means really with diversity, mm -hmm. And equity means, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the ways that you explain it. Now that's perfect, you know what I mean? That's perfect. That's the way I want business to be done because mm -hmm. I don't want people who false, you know, they call false flagging, thinking they um, think they're using the word diversity and equity and, and don't know what it means, you know what I'm saying? Because they have asked a per person mm -hmm. who look like me mm -hmm. what okay. it means. Right, I know. Yeah. You know, you got to ask me what it yeah, means, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know what I mean? What it means. Yeah. If you're talking about trying to include me in something, Absolutely. how are you going to make a decision I mean, about me? If you don't even ask me, if I'm yeah. not in the room, I don't. You got yeah. So well, I don't, don't want to do that. Yeah. This one, this diversity, equity. Let's use it where it real, where it really. You look at uh, Google it, and they'll tell you. But you know what? The inclusion part mm -hmm. is that's the word that's I the one. want. The okay. that's it ain't that's I the like one, that. bro. Yeah. Inclusion. That's everybody. It's an, it's a I'm gonna, it's a elementary. You got you got I've got something to think about yeah, for it's sure. Just, it just, yeah. But you, the words you the way you use D and E, diversity and equity is perfect Thank based you. on how you do B and B doing the business, yeah. business to business. Yeah. You know I mean, that's that's perfect, you know. But um it, but when you say the word inclusion, you you know, you're not you're not even um it, it's it's no speculation, mm -hmm. you know, it's just everybody. Everybody you know, oh, it's everybody's black, invited. White, everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know, well, that's, making, that's, but I'm also making sure that uh, everybody knows about these events no doubt too, about it. and knows about these programs. Yeah, we too, have a lot. So. We can uh, we use our UVM, we use um, St. Michael's. Great. Um, Volunteers in Action, that's the one, the VIA at St. Uh, 
UVM, mm -hmm. all sorts of action. We did the MOVE program at St. Michael's, and we was on um, like the Cynic and Paper at UVM and Bo B O R E D Board, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and all that. We we okay. have a network of uh, student Great. student government. We have a, a network of college students and getting involved because they, okay. quite frankly, they don't want to see our future bias. You know, who knows mm -hmm. when they get out of college, they be ready to go do that. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. they might have saved their money or so their prom their parents probably some some loot when they yeah. get out. Um, so those are the ones we want to educate as well. Okay. And of course, all the time, you know. Um, and so we have a network of how we can get things out to people. And like in other ways, we get, I'm a um, member of the Chamber of Commerce, you know, um, a few of them, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but the largest one is Chinook County, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can get them all there too. That's what we really want. People from the Chamber of Commerce, businesses who, I think they got like 6,000 numbers or something crazy, you know, get, you know, our, our, at different points in our space to talk about, um, housing and mm -hmm. development and what they do mm -hmm. see that's how you got one of the things too is like a sponsor you know, we always say to my I always see our sponsors mm -hmm. a sponsorship is a partnership mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. it, you know could you give me okay. some my job how can I help you too so we try to mix them with, yeah. with people some people say well Bruce use a hub you know and I laugh because I, I, what I do is make sure um, people who was our sponsors get their service promoted to whoever who needs it within our other who are other sponsors mm -hmm. you know and um mm -hmm. so chamber of commerce they can come talk about what they do they have this time on the stage mm -hmm. and listen and bring in their staff mm -hmm. right okay bring yeah. their staff yeah. in there to For hear sure. about what you what, what all the real estate agents and the banking and yeah. you know credit unions are talking about yep. you know the programs you offer um and so it's a big big deal yeah it's, a, it's, it's gigantic you know what I'm saying that the ways you can you know like Boot, I said, it's the bank. Boots on the ground. Huh? Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Yeah. They can come right to you. You know, and you have, you know, some cool stuff there for them, yeah, you know? Yeah, for sure. And, um, okay. It's, it's the easiest thing you can do. I'm telling you, I learned that. Uh, you know, I learned how to how to do it, you know, like, because I believe in we got to work and help each other. And you, know? you think this education is mm -hmm. power? Is, is oh, no, no, you see, Do you think that's, I mean, that's my, I think mm -hmm. that's really something that's, Oh, that man. that can make all the no difference. About it. You know, that can make all the is, difference, is, right? It is education is makes all the difference. Yeah. And it is power. Like I said, like you know, you can use a business on the chamber of commerce. They come talk about their business, but they also bring their employees there, mm -hmm. have some cool food and whatever hors d'oeuvres or whatever it is, and then they can uh, talk to all our um, providers mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, um, and and learn something about housing. This is, what is, how wonderful is that to have a, a business? To do that for their employees, mm -hmm. to bring them to yeah. educate them around something yeah. that they don't do. Yeah. And up here, they're roofers. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, they they don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's nice for their employees to learn some stuff. Here's some incentive. Yeah, you know I mean? should charge for this actually. You, you <laughs> for businesses, not people, right. not people no, no, individually. You, you're right. I'll come in and I'll talk to your, you know, and I'll tell them all about, you know, and bring them out you, of there. Yeah. No, no, bring them out. Bring them. Bring to them out. Bring them okay. to the Bring them out. So one. Okay. Bring them out. People yeah. don't like to be talked. It's at, like, at, yeah, at their work. You know what right. I mean? Okay. You know, bring them out. Yeah. You know, we have somebody did invite me, um, one of the factories, and I did, I did like during lunch, yeah. I, I went and great. did a, a presentation. But you're right. I, it, the bring space them. matters, space. really. It's yeah. the bang, man. I'm yeah. And, and like, and then like, and, um, and having the right people at the front of the room, too. Mm -hmm. And um, potentially um, getting, you know, here's diversity. Showing uh, a person of color who's a real estate professional mm -hmm. might make a difference, right? No doubt about it. Because I think uh, the connection that somebody has with their realtor or with their lender makes all the difference. And if somebody is somebody that somebody can relate to, I'm not saying that people of color can't right. relate to no, white no, I people, get, I get, no. but you know, I get that, that, could add, that could add a layer of being com of comfortableness and make no all the difference it. too. No so. doubt about it. So we need to work on that. We yeah. will. So won't you uh, let people know again how we can get in okay. touch with? They can get in touch with you at the uh, uh, Vermont Housing Finance Agency. Um, okay, so yeah, so you can go to the website vhfa.org, um, and you can click on home buyers, and you'll be able to um, submit an email right through the website, or you could. There's a number to call there if you want to call us and leave a voicemail. We will get back to you and answer your questions mm -hmm. and get you pointed in the right direction. So mm -hmm. thank you so much, yeah. Bruce. Thanks, Eric Hoffman. Yeah. <laughs> thank I look you forward for doing our show, Straight Talk with Mark Show, and thank you everyone. Tune in next time. Thank you.